And welcome, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Demir Anti-Green. That's right. As you know, Standard right now is just green decks everywhere. Oko has uh, dominated the metagame right now. And so what we're trying out here today is we're trying a Demir Control deck. It's blue-black control, where we are trying to uh, really defeat green decks. We have four Ether Gus in the main deck as well as four Noxious Grasp in the main deck. So we got eight premium removal spells against green decks that we're just playing main deck because there's just so much green running around. As far as, like, uh, besides that, we just got a, a couple other removal spells. We got, you know, Noxious Grasp, Murderous Rider. We got Discard with Thought Erasure. We got Counter Magic with Negate and Sinister Sabotage. Even a Sweeper with Ritual of Soot. So a lot of good stuff that Demir has going on. As far as, like, winning the game, though, Demir doesn't have, like, great options that, like, end the game real quickly. I have um, Narset and Jace for just card advantage engines because, you know, like, card advantage is, is really what you need in standard. And um, the control decks have, have been missing Teferi Hero of Dominaria. And so I wanted to try Jace here as just a, a draw, you know, a card that just says draw a card every turn. You know, get us two cards a turn. Let us pull ahead. Um you know, that's basically what it's doing. Um, and then, you know, like these green decks are playing really big threats, you know, like huge Hydro Crisis, Nissa, Oko, even like all that kind of stuff. Later on in the game, we can let it resolve, um, not use a removal spell, use mass manipulation, steal their um, good threats and try to finish the game off with them. So that's the goal of the deck. Hey, what's up, track team? Um, and uh, yeah, let's let's get it let's get it going. Let's see how Demir Anti Green does. We're gonna go ahead and play this deck over in ranked. I guess I could talk about the sideboard a little bit. I mean, sideboard, you know, we got we gotta have anti aggro stuff. Um, for Ether Gust main is good against aggro, but still, like we're gonna need anti more anti aggro stuff to be able to bring in, especially to replace Noxious Grasp. But I so I got a couple disfigures. I got the third and fourth Legion's End, uh, the fourth Ritual of Soot in here. So you know, like we got those kind of things. Uh, I got more discard with duress, some extra counter magic, including some mystical disputes in here. Elder spell is just a really good quality elder spell. <laughs> so we got that. And then uh, against like other control decks where they board out their removal, I'm going to be bringing in Thief of Sanity and giving that a try. Instead of playing like Ashiok or Mordigo, I'm going to try the Thief of Sanity with extra discard and counter magic to protect it. Okay. So let's get get going right away. We're gonna play like three or four games in ranked with the deck today. Um, I don't I don't think we're gonna have time for for five games for all of our decks today because we got control day. All this all these control decks, control decks usually take a little longer. So, um, so why don't I play Spyglass? Because I think we have enough uh, Planeswalker removal with all the Ether Gusts and Noxious Grasps and and things like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, perfectly good hand. I'm going to start with Fabled Passage for an island to help with Jace. Oh. Well, now that makes perfect sense, because now we have Thought Erasure into Narset. Is it Guildgate? Well, that is that is a red land. There's a green land. This is likely a Fires of Invention deck. Which Ether Gust does... Does counter Fires of Invention. And by counter, I mean, I don't know, put it back on top of their library. Mind. All right, three lands going down to the bottom. We're going to be shuffling those back. That's unfortunate. That's a good card. That gets them straight into Casualties of War. So I probably cannot... Hone your prowess. 
I probably can't just go Jace here, even though I'd like to because of Casualties of War. So, question is, what do you think about Enter the God Eternal's main deck in this deck? I bas Basically, I don't think that Enter the God Eternal's is very good against the Simic decks, and so I don't want it. I want only cards that are good against Simic decks in my main deck. I think it's... It's perfectly fine against aggro. So I know I have three three lands down towards the bottom. So basically if I shuffle this, I have a better chance of drawing a land. I do want to draw a land here. So I want to be able to play Jace with at least with Ether Gust available. already have lots of mana. No, I haven't seen too much of the Simic Flash with Oko decks, but... Um, I've, I've played it before and it, it felt really good. Um, yeah, I mean, some, like, counter spells are good, Oko's good. I think it, I definitely think it's possible that Oko would get banned in standard. Not necessarily likely, though. Those who cannot perceive beyond the veil hmm. of reality are lost. Did not draw land. I must train harder. Don't worry. This is all just how you play the hand you're dealt. That's unfortunate. Those are two cards that I would would not mind them drawing. Just don't have, don't have mana. It's tough. At least getting rid of the deafening clarion while it doesn't do anything, it. It makes it easier for them to put the Fey of Wishes back into their hand. You have got to be kidding me. It's unbelievable. Now they can pretty easily get put the Fey of Wishes back into their hand if I try to kill it. I 
That's a pretty good card. That can ensure that I'll continue to hit land drops. I really wanted a black mana source to be able to Legion's End and Murderous Rider. I also want Jace. Because it would be nice here to be able to, you know, they ditch two cards, I respond by Murderous Rider. That would have been nice. Hey, thank you so much there for the sub there, Cobb. Um, Bleeding Black, there's if you there's an info panel about um, about the different sub tiers and stuff. Just the trick for this. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can figure a way out of this. This will come in handy. Hmm. Normally I would I would get rid of Narset, but Narset does is kind of holding back Hydroid Crisis, which is a card that they're definitely playing. I'm still gonna get rid of it. So they're at 31 cards, I'm at 25. Always an answer. Gary. Gary, Gary88, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Y'all are awesome. Lots of subs today so far. Ooh, check out all those lands. All right, so we got a bunch of lands down at the bottom. Fifth of the day already. First game. Yeah, Corvier, yep, it's control day. It's rude. This isn't over until we figure out a solution. Do they have any threats? They so they know about this manipulation. You know, you can tell like the cards that they know with the little eyeball there. Sure, I'll take a castle. I'm up for a challenge. Let's try this. Keep an open mind. Uh, so you show remorse, I'll show the strength. I've got well, you don't draw a card. Give me that. Who 
this might be a bad idea. Let's think this through. That's a good one. This control deck is sweet. Jace has been awesome. It's a matter of now, obviously, game two and three is is always a little tougher with control because people put in oh, I've done the hero thing. all their anti-control stuff. Do I have any thought erasers left? Nope. Bleeding Black with the Tier 3 sub. Y'all get the hype out for our new Tier 3 sub. Thank you so much there, Bleeding Black. So yeah, with the Tier 3 sub, you get a donation deck. And that's just something you can use any time. So if you ever have a, a donation deck that you would like, you just let me know. And... Um... And, you know, it's yours. You just let me know whenever you want. Yeah, get that foil hypo. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, maybe not. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's try this. Sure, you can circuitous route. They put the they put that plain white celebration down on the bottom of the library with Ether Gust because they knew that I was gonna just mill it over. I'm at 14 cards left. Here goes nothing. It's how you should be another noxious grasp. Yep, I remember putting these noxious grasps down to the bottom. And eleven cards. It's always an answer. They're at ten. Here we go. Hey, what's up, Rex? All right. So I want disdainful stroke negate dis dispute dispute. We have to be worried about Teferi on their side. So it's like Noxious Grass was a card that I don't really love, but we gotta be worried about Teferi. You know, gotta be able to kill Teferi. Besides that, most of their other stuff was green. So either Gus. Ethergust actually did a lot of work for us. Yeah, I'm basically playing Jace instead of Gadwick. Um, but but Gadwick is is definitely a reasonable card. So if I go two Noxious Grasp. Oh no, they they had Tamio also. This gives me two Grasp, three Murderous Rider, two Manipulation as answers to Teferi if it resolves. Yeah, I gotta cut three cards. Cut a land on the draw in this slow matchup. 
Maybe I don't play the disdainful stroke. Go down to one Noxious Grasp. Jun Sacrifice? That could be... That's a good deck. I like... Um, Corvold. It's a fun card to play. Oh yeah, Tom Waits is awesome. No drown in the lock has to be wrong. Why is that? Hey, that's good, Q Potty. It's good. You know, you're working on a Jun Sacrifice list. Yeah, just working on it. You'll get better. Alright, so they get Circuitous Route, so they can have a lot of mana. But now we have Thought Erasure plus Counter Spells afterwards. Hey, we got a sub from a really powerful wizard. Thank you so much there, really powerful wizard. Drown the Lock is never dead? That's not... That hasn't been my experience with the card. I have... Played a few games like where I don't have other ways to put cards into their graveyard besides a drown in the lock, and it has been a dead card. Plus, with us already having Ether Gus and Noxious Grasps, do we need Drown in the Lock also? I'm just going to be countering the card that Shimmer Possibilities grabs kind of anyway. I don't know. That's that's very... It was a very aggressive counter spell, for sure. I like being a little bit more aggressive with counter magic when playing against Veil of Summer.
manipulation of the mind. It's a matter of give and take. Okay. Let me help beat Bleeding Black over here. Okay. My turn. Okay, so I didn't crack the Fable Passage there because I don't really want to draw didn't really want to draw a land. I knew I had a land down at the bottom. So I'd kind of be just shuffling a land back in. All right, well, I definitely should have shuffled there before that surveil, though. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. No tail should be discarded. Make this look easy. Let's try this. Oh no, Tamio. Bleh. <laughs> Cast it too fast. Right when I was casting it, I was like, no, wait, no, don't cast that. The past is never forgotten. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't get the upkeep stop fast enough. Really hoping they were gonna negate that. So really hoping they were gonna negate that. Yeah, when people say punt in chat, they mean mistake. That's what they. That's what they mean. I don't think I really need an upkeep stop. I'm gonna put it here just to think. I don't think I want to castle upkeep because I think I'd probably rather black castle. I could, could black castle upkeep. I'm just gonna draw my card.
guess I don't have the ability to wait on that because once Tamiyo's in play. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Yes, Tamiyo was really good. For my opponent. I have learned much from my ancestors. All right, so I'm going to be I'm going to be scrying with Castle here. Violence. I don't really know if I can win this. I feel like it's just going to be me getting milled out. Meditate and prepare. Now with them taking my Jaces and my Thieves. Yeah, I don't really have win conditions left. I have I have two mass manipulations. But if my opponent doesn't play anything. Ether Gust. Because they're at twenty nine, I'm at twenty one. I'm already goes lame. Chakwar, thanks for the resub. Than 12 minutes remaining. Just play cards, opponent. I'm not going to counter them. Just play them. Go ahead. Yeah, I would like them to play Jace, but I don't know if my I can't make my opponent play stuff, but I would like them to. Jace doesn't do a whole lot with Narset out here. Hey, 
Hey, Shadows Fall. Doing great. Doing great. Yay. Or mine. Let's think this through. I get to draw, you know, two extra cards, of course. But I, I kind of had to let them kill the Narset to let them think playing the Jace was a good idea. Maybe better just to go the self mill plan, honestly. This would come in handy. Mm. It's really hoping for a land. Still have the mana to, to pay this. Hey, Kenpachi. Yep. I got the 12-hour Halloween stream tomorrow. I got space for your donation deck tomorrow. Not a problem. So I've already played a land. Let's think this so I play Narset, but then I don't have Sabotage plus Ether Gust, but it protects it makes them not be able to draw an extra card with Summit. But obviously I don't even know if Ether Gust is gonna be any good. But considering I win the game next turn if I untap with Jace. I think I just let them draw the extra card here. To be able to have the extra protection spell. Oh, they didn't even have a gate to play. Come on. They only got one card. Arena's being laggy here. I'm gonna wait wait a second to let it unlag. Okay. Is that a word? Unlag? Uh, gross. 
Ghost. That's their last card? Come on. Well, it's really unfortunate. That was two awesome cards to have. Oh my gosh, they went and grabbed Angrass Rampage. Angrass Rampage, it's red. Oh, they didn't grab like Elder Spell. We did it. We did it. All right, Demir anti-green. We got all of our win cons egoed away. We still won with their win con. All right, Ether Gust was awesome. <laughs> Deck, would you recommend for newer arena players to climb the ladder? Um, I mean, honestly, like right now, playing like Simic decks are just, just the absolute best thing. It's not really exactly new player friendly, like wildcard wise and everything. <laughs> yeah, my opponent just had to pass 20 times and they won. I mean, they saw my deck. They knew that's all I had. Uh, Soltai Control is Planeswalker based. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. This would be very good for me if they don't draw an Oko this. this turn. Hopefully we get to untap with Narset that can hold back this crisis. And then I have Thought Erasure plus Ether Gust Negate. Yay. Uh, I guess we need a minus Narset first before we surveil. Um... I wouldn't mind any of these, honestly. Okay. The anti green deck is working. So they're going to have Veil of Summer. Mystical Dispute's like amazing on turn one, but it it turns into a dead card pretty quickly. Okay. I'm going to take out the two Legion's Ends, get a Ritual of Soot instead. Get another one of those in, and then I'm going to get an, an Elder Spell in. Okay. 
This deck's pretty sweet. So how am I going to best play around Veil of Summer that it certainly looks like my opponent has? They had negate. It's not a card I want to ether gust. So Jace would be good here getting rid of the Oko and drawing a card, but then I don't have Rider or Sabotage available because it costs too much mana. So like what's like the word then they play like Nissa? Or like they get to kill Narset if they have another Krasis. It's not that bad. They play Nissa, that could definitely be annoying. I'd have like the removal spell for the Nissa, but then I wouldn't really deal with the 3-3. Can also manipulation Nissa though as well. I've got them all yeah, 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 training. You can post a link. How you play the hand of death. That's unfortunate. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. And worms rule. Unfortunate in the fact, fact that it's a tap land, because an, an untap land would have been a lot better for next turn. <laughs> Such violence is I guess it wouldn't have been that much better. I have six mana, not seven. I was thinking I had seven. Let's try this. They can kill Jace. Yeah, I can take Oko. But then they still kill Jace. I really don't want them to kill Jace. My only way to keep them from killing Jace is taking Wicked Wolf this turn. Hmm. 
Not if you elk. I mean, they can just respond by elking whenever I try to elk the Wicked Wolf by sacking the food and making it a 4 4. So that doesn't work. Elk doesn't work. Surely you must be famished. Oh, they did not kill Jace. Well, we've they wanted to keep the indestructible part available. Quite annoying. I don't think it's worth countering it. We just counter the next thing. The second Veil of Summer gone though. Welcome to the feast. We should have this. We'll see what they got. The card doesn't actually do anything, does it? No. Open your heart to the magic that dances around. Gives him like a food, like whatever. It's not poisoned. Trust me. This. Basically, I didn't want them to be able to, like, I counter that, and I'm tapped out, and they play something that's a lot scarier. I don't know exactly what that would have been. Yeah, we're doing Control Wednesday today. Trying out different Control decks. This one's been pretty good so far. All right, and now... Now I got triple counterspell available. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I play this, I still have seven mana. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I still have enough mana to play everything else. So we're good. Oh, 
And I guess they, they know about my sensor sabotage. And so they're just saying GG. Is this, is this the hero that Standard needs? Demir Anti-Green. So far, it's worked out well. We're 2-0 and ranked over here. Yeah, I got an Ultra Control deck. <laughs> the Unsung Hero. The uh, tomorrow's the end of the month, so tomorrow is where I gotta make sure I'm in the top 1,200. Not doing anything until turn three is a little slow on the draw, but we are on the play, so hopefully it's not too slow. <laughs> Thanks, Janini. Okay. Ah. Uh yeah, I didn't I didn't really look too too much at the Theros cards yet that were leaked. I didn't I glanced at a couple of them, but I can't even really tell you what they did or anything now. I don't, I don't know. land all right so I think our deck is gonna struggle against a Rakdos aggro deck If I cast Murderous Rider on like a Knight of the Ebon Legion, then it's going to trigger the other Knight of the Ebon Legion. If I wait till end step like this. Now, even though I lose another two life, it doesn't trigger that thing. Don't think it's considering to play the Jace. I think I'm going to just play the Jace. Try to find more cards. It's a matter of give and take. Well, they're two two good cards to get rid of. Even if they even if they kill the Jace right now, it's still gain five life. Unless they just have planeswalker removal like an Antgrass Rampage or something like that, though. There we go. That's that's a pretty good card. It's how you play the hand you're dead. I should have I should have shuffled first, taken a, a land out of my deck that I don't want to draw. They are going to be able to trigger the robber of the rich. The negate's good at trying to help protect this murderous rider. Uh, 
Oh, they didn't play anything first, so they don't get to trigger Rob or the Rich. Legion's End? No. Alright, shuffle. Well, I've been quite fortunate with my opponent not hitting a third land. I know meditate and prepare. Jeez. Well, Noxious Grasp just doesn't do anything, so I guess I'm taking Jace. Ah, uh, they finally got it. Hmm. It still takes up their turn. That's not a good one. Decisions, decisions, decisions. That's not a good one either. I have just the trick for That's this. a good one. Probably keep Jace from ultimating. No. Ah, and there's the Legion's End. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Still no counter magic. I love a good puzzle. There's always an answer. Okay, let's go Dismal Backwater. I'm going to discard Watery Grave, Noxious Grasp, Noxious Grasp, um, Swamp, Swamp, and Castle. <laughs> I don't have anything for that. It's a matter of give and take. Uh, finally, I get hit a counter spell. Yeah, we got four main deck grasp and four main so deck <laughs> ether gust. Yep, Kendis, that's the plan. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna try to try to put together some some spooky decks for Halloween for sure. We're definitely gonna have to play some Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven. That, yeah. Yep, and I got a Halloween tie, and we'll see if I can get the the yeah I have a Halloween tie for tomorrow and. We'll see if if I can get the wizard hat on Hawkeye. <laughs> he he kind of chirped over there. I don't know if you heard him. But he heard his name and he was like, "What? What do you want?" Nice, Crux Delta. I shall miss your company. This 
Hey, fake with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, thanks for that resub there. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some good Esper decks later today. We just got a whole bunch of blue-black control. All thought erasure all day. This is probably my favorite deck that we're playing later on though. Uh, no, Le I I cannot Legion's End M Murderous Rider. I can Legion's End this thing. Legion's End's only CMC two or less. Let's try this. Life here with the tier one sub. Thanks so much, there, Lifer. I appreciate that. These these Jaces have, have not only just been awesome at, you know, like, filling up my hand, but they have been awesome with these Aether Gusts. Okay. So we're going to cut the four Noxious Grasp, get a couple more Disfigure, a couple more Legion's End, an extra Ritual of Soot. Um... They're going to be playing a whole bunch of duresses. I think I'm going to go with this here. Oh, seems like, um, seems like Arena already needs a uh, recent. So yeah, like the game's gonna go longer. Thought like they empty their hand pretty quickly. Thought Erasure is a, a card that I don't really want to be drawn too much in the later game. So I'm getting rid of that. All right, so that's our first sub goal towards our next 12-hour stream. Of course, we got the 12-hour stream for tomorrow. It's my favorite deck in standard right now. Honestly, don't really have a favorite. Honestly. Yeah, I really don't have like a favorite right now. Ugh. Need more land. Is it better for me to disfigure the Midnight Reaper? Hey, what's up, Zerf? It's going real good. Having a great day today. Had a really good productive off day yesterday.
Putting that back on top. Um, this game's not looking good, though. Love to draw land. It's not a good land, but it's a land. Either Gust has been better for us than Noxious Grasp has been. Sometimes you draw land, sometimes you don't. I have not seen any main deck Veil of Summer yet. It's only our third match here. Just won a draft game with zero cards in your library on your upkeep. That is awesome, Deft. Good job. All right, so this is a very painful hand. We're going to have to shock ourselves three times. It's not really what we want. I am... I am pretty happy about how... I guess we don't have to anymore. I'm pretty happy about how competitive we've been against red-black aggro, though. For... For our, for our uh, really hard control deck here. Thanks, Triton. Hmm. Considering just playing this as a 2-3... No, I should probably kill their creature. I don't want to display this as a 2 3. No. Perfect, Kampachi. Yeah, whenever. Whenever you got it, you just let me know. All right, theater of horrors. You just don't know. It's always an answer. It's going to be a tough card. So getting the Jason play to, you know, Basically like we did the first game whenever we won. Got it in play turn one. Or sorry, sorry. Got it in play as soon as we could with turn four. And then immediately... Let's try this. If 
I let them on top of Stormfist Crusader, it, it, um, you know, lets them Theater of Horrors. Ether Gust is permanent. Yeah, so if we draw, if we find Ether Gust, we can put the Theater of Horrors back on top and then mill it over. It's a matter of give and take. Oh, overlay. Yeah, I never got Deckmaster. I never started Deckmaster. I forgot about that. Surprised nobody's. Nobody said anything. Sorry. Okay, so now Deckmaster should be up and working. As far as I know. Supposed to hurt. Let's think this through. All right, looking for Ether Gust. But I, I'm pretty sure we got this locked down anyway, though. This looks really good for us here. Yeah, the, the cards that are exiled, if it leaves the battlefield, they just stay exiled forever. Yep. It's how you play the hand you're dealt. Definitely need to reset arena here. I train every day. No one is more prepared than me. Keep an open mind. So basically I wanted the Theater of Horrors trigger to go on the stack. And now they exile the Theater of Horrors because they put it back on top of the library but that trigger was still on the stack so it gets exiled. G. <clears throat> All right. Three and oh. Dude, this deck is sweet. Demir anti green. Thanks, Deft. Okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and reset arena. Cause if you play three matches on arena, then you have to reset because it starts lagging too bad. That's just how it is. Okay. All right, we're going to play one more. Here, hopefully getting paired against... A Simic deck again, so we can kind of see how our deck does against Simic again. Hey, Flicker Docs, doing great. Doing great. 
yeah, so we're going to play four matches here, and we'll move on to our next deck after this. I'd have to say that I've been just super, super impressed with, um, with Jace. Jace has been awesome. Ugh, double, double backwater. Stanis Stanislav Sifka is a great, great player. So I'd have to say we're probably underdogs here. Is there room for a flash serpent? Nah, I don't I don't love that card that much, honestly. I haven't been really thinking that I want to draw that card too much. Yeah, it's you said it's yeah, it's a really fun card. I'm not sure if it's good. Yeah, it's it's basically kinda unnecessary. Yeah, this this hurt not not uh Hey, I was gonna be I was gonna be making that deck. Certainly hurt the double backwater the triple backwater, you know, just all tap lands. They basically meant like that we were on the draw here. It's weird negating a love struck beast. That's what we get to do here. So is an extra card worth five life? Maybe not. I did, okay, so yeah, I, I Aether Gust at, at end step, not before the beast hit, because I wanted to hold up counter spell in case my opponent played something that I needed to counter. The most underrepresented guild in standard is is definitely Boros. Or like the two, the only two that that you can kind of make, make the only two that you can really make a case for. You said Orzov. It's it's definitely not Orzov. It's it's Boros and Selesnya. Like those are the two. Yeah, it's Boros and Selesnya. Mm -hmm. So, Teamer Adventures. This is going to be a really tough one to sideboard against honestly like legion's end is a card that i would 
like here more than normal against a green deck because of Edgewall Innkeeper being so important to kill right away. Definitely want this extra Ritual of Soot. I have to assume with blue, when I mean, there's Oko, I kind of have to assume there's Brazen Borrower. I think I am... I mean, mass Manipulation is kind of like my, my win con. But it's not very good against Brazen Borrower. Just cut one manipulation for the sit. <sighs> Purpose of Jace is drawing cards, of course. We gotta, you know, pull ahead from our opponents, and it's the thing like getting that extra card every turn. Jace has been a, a card that I've been super, super impressed with here. Uh, sorry, Crooks. I, I did Crocs. I didn't get to. I didn't really check out your list too much. Um, I can do that here. But no. I I don't think Enter the God Eternals into the story. Witching well. I think I don't think those are very strong cards, to be honest. that but I don't know there's a lot of good stuff in blue and black I like this list that we're playing here hey Gulia and Toasted what's up y'all well I got I got pretty lucky there with Sifka having just a handful of lands really flooded out, which made my life easier. Just Hydra. Nature is beautiful. I've seen too many species die already. <laughs> Stomping time. That's a good card. Honestly, I probably should have just I should have just either gusted there. Just put this pulp collector back. Yeah, they put it on the bottom. Cause yeah, it's a it's not really a card that you want to draw there. See, I got to land out of the deck and shuffled it up. And I want to do the shuffling and getting the land out before I did the whole surveil part. 
Hey, what's up, Matthew? Um... I want to get Jace down, but I guess that is risky getting Jace down right now. Gross. That was the last card. Gross. That was the card they drew for turn. Summer is devastating. Let's try this. To put this bone crusher giant back. Oh, I kind of forgot about that two damage thing. though. What do I think of historic? I, I wish there was actual historic events on here. I wish they would support historic more. So there's Pelt Collector. I think I like what I got going on here. Maybe I'm supposed to play this other manipulation. No. Um, I'm not sure with the new Doom deck, G Giovanni. I'm not sure about that. Like, I, I just don't know. I don't know exactly what the deck looks like. We're playing, like, the Esper Prison that we're playing later on is a Doom Foretold deck that, that is kind of like Esper Dance, but it doesn't have dance. Uh, Ken Pachi, you, you sent the link. Okay, there we go. I got you. And you want me to play that one tomorrow? All right, so it's another Demir control. I guess more Demir mid range. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll play that.
Al Cater. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. Our 11th sub of the day. Thanks for resubbing there. No, I'm starting tomorrow at noon Eastern. Okay. Starting early tomorrow. I really thought I had that game that last time until that Vela Summer draw that was like after the Thought Erasure with Sifka only having the Bone Crusher Giant. I, I really thought I was going to be winning that game. Yes, yeah, yeah, I can pl I can play yours at like the end of the, like towards the end of the night, Kampachi. No problem there. Um, yeah, where where I live, there's not I don't have trick or treaters where I live. I'm not too worried about that. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. May we meet again, or not. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. <sighs> Should have Fable Passage first again. Should have Fable Passage first. So I mean, they they could top deck a, a planeswalker, then I'll feel bad for not having the noxious grasp up. But I'm I, not expecting that, so I'm just gonna get the watery grave in here. Yeah, my opponent plays Oko. Yeah, I, it's not a sideboard card. <laughs> I have, yeah, Mimir, I, I didn't really look through the, the leaked cards very much. Um, honestly. I did see those, yeah, those full art lands. Those are really interesting. So my my best thing to do, honestly, is to just kind of kill this. Just to kill this 1-1, one, one, and then they can't attack with the 5-5s. Five, fives. I wouldn't, ne I wouldn't necessarily mind Veil of Summer here, of course, because we have mass manipulation. So it puts a lot of pressure on them to save Veil of Summer, even if they have, even if they drew it.
commotion. It's unfortunate. That was a good bone crusher giant. I'm saying that's unfortunate to the Legion's end because it just doesn't do anything. Well, at least it'll do something. Yeah, that was a pretty unfortunate turn for me. to be able to double manipulate. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. You haven't seen the last of me. We're fit enough to survive. Come on, land. So obviously I can't target the Bone Crusher Giant because I die. Now we're not dead to like a questing beast or something. Okay, now we need to, you know, we need to find like a Jace so we can, you know, we need to be able to start drawing multiple cards a turn. Obviously we're dead to, like if they have another Bone Crusher Giant, of course we die. Like we're, we're barely hanging on here. With like an, another Narset would be good. Okay, I know I have, I know I have a murderous rider down at the bottom. Late there, sabotage. That would have been good last turn. So basically, we're at, you know, like these, all these five toughness things trade. We go to one, they just attack out.
Just holding on. The focused and trying to at least. Encounter no ops. Keep an open mind. Uh, Arena's acting all laggy again. Put thoughtfulness before action. Well, that's a lot of cards that's not Jace. Those who cannot perceive beyond the veil of reality. I have just the trick for this. But we found all of our Narsets. And prepare. So that's already very good. Um, I'm either taking Grasp or Thought Erasure. Mind and body should move in you. Hone your prowess. I'm going to wait till next turn just to make sure we have lots of mana against potentially three cards. Yay, Demir Anti Green. Good job, Narset. Yeah, I think they had Veil in hand also. I don't really want to Thought Erasure with Veil. I don't know. I just don't really need to. I think just having the Noxious Grass could work out better. All right, 4-0. Yeah, it's, it's does what it meant. it's meant to do. So, yeah, we beat the green decks. We played against... Four decks and Ether Gust was awesome against all four decks. Even against the the Rakdos deck, it was awesome. But then, you know, the uh, two of them, two of them were Oko decks. One Rakdos, and then a um, I don't know Gates Control deck, where it uh, did stuff against you know Angrass Rampage. It saved us like that game three. But then Tamio. Um, I know they had a good amount of green spells, casualties of war, stuff like that. It really paired well with Jace, and Jace was just awesome for us because, you know, like, we're our decks all filled with one for ones and pretty cheap one for ones with just all these two mana cards. But, you know, we need to be able to pull ahead if we're just one for oneing or not necessarily pulling ahead. So Jace did a great job of that. You know, we, a lot of games we slammed Jace on four um, and then just untapped with Jace. And then used all of our, our cheap interaction to keep on uh, to keep to pull ahead and keep Jace alive and everything and just draw that extra card um, every turn. Red, white, green is called Naya. All right, have a good night, Kenpachi. Um, and yeah, so like that was that was really cool with Ether Gust putting stuff back on top and then milling it over. Um, this this deck worked really really well. I have to say that that it did. Um, it was a blast to play, and if you're tired of Oko and trying to find something to deal with Oko and this this Oko heavy metagame that's there's Oko everywhere, I don't know. Maybe this maybe this is the deck, you know? Or yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> yeah, just playing Ether Gust and Noxious Grass. Just playing a main. Just got four each. They were awesome. Uh, really good quality removal and everything. This was really cool. Very effective. Yeah, very effective deck here. All right. Well, that's Demir Anti-Green. Pretty awesome one here, um, I have to say. Uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck as well. And also, <clears throat> if so, please hit the like button over there. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think of um, this Anti-Green deck for our current standard metagame. All right. But that's it here for Demir Control. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.